Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. A lot of patients that visit us for treatment for infertility often ask us why we do all the scans that we do. I just wanted to create an awareness video to help you understand what are the various scans and why we do so many scans when we are trying to make you pregnant. Well, since we are talking about infertility, we will stick to your period cycle and let's assess what scans are done at what period. If you are in the middle of your period, whether you are on day 14, 10, 12, 13, it doesn't matter, a scan can be done definitely to assess your uterus and its uh, shape, size, if there are any fibroids, polyps, if there are any scars, if there is uh, endometriosis of severe stage which has caused damage inside it, all these things can be assessed. In addition to that, we can also assess if there are any problems which are leading to irregular periods, too many breakthrough bleedings, very little bleeding, if there are these issues that you are dealing with, all these can be assessed by a scan which can be done any time of your period. Then we talk about the day 2 scan. A day 2 or a day 3 scan is an essential scan when your doctor is trying to treat you. These scans are done particularly on these days because of the simple reason that your endometrium lining has begun to shed, your ovulation is done of the previous cycle and your body as in your uterus and your ovaries are getting ready for the next cycle. The ovaries are, uh, are selecting the next batch of eggs out of which one egg will ovulate. Endometrium is getting ready for a hopeful potential pregnancy. If not, it's getting ready for a breakthrough bleeding. How is it happening? Basically, the brain is producing FSH and LH, two hormones which are very important for eggs to grow. In addition to this, estrogen and progesterone also play a very important role. As FSH increases, eggs begin to grow and under the influence of the growing egg and increasing FSH, estrogen rises. Rising estrogen causes only the dominant egg to grow and the rest will then collapse. Rising estrogen also leads to an LH surge as in luteinizing hormone increases suddenly and causes ovulation to happen. The egg is released, it comes and waits in the tube. If there are sperms present, there is fertilization and therefore an embryo is formed and that embryo will then implant onto the uterus. While all this is happening, after the egg is ovulated, progesterone hormone is released which is very important for the growth of endometrium and for support of the uh, potential embryo that may implant. So this is what is happening inside your body during ovulation and all these have to happen at the right time. Now scans are done on day 2 or day 3 and these scans are then matched with your FSH, LH, E2, P4, all these values at that time, these are called baseline scans and hormones and then your doctor will assess what treatment works best for you depending of course upon your age and your husband's semen parameters. So these are very critical decisions that your doctor takes when he or she is trying to treat you for infertility. Uh, so that's a baseline day 2 scan. Then there are scans which are performed during treatment whether you are going for ovulation induction or an IUI or an IVF. These scans are very important. These are called mid-treatment scans and these are very important because your doctor is trying to assess whether your ovaries are responding to the medication. Let's try to talk about ovulation induction. Very little medication is given for one or two eggs to grow and then uh, you are asked to uh, have intercourse at the right time when the egg is released. So to understand whether the size has reached and the egg is ovulated, it's very critical for your doctor to do scans. Then coming to IUI, IUI also needs medication and sometimes injections. So to have the control, see whether the egg is released have a control of when to do the IUI, when to put sperms into your uterus, it's very essential that you go for ultrasounds to see if your egg is growing properly. In IVF, it is even more important to do scans because your doctor gives you more dosage of hormones to make more eggs grow. When you are giving these hormones, it's very critical for you to do these scans because the doctor tries to see if the dosage is correct and right number of eggs are growing. If the dosage is too much and you are going into ovarian hyperstimulation, your ovaries have responded to even low dose. All these things are assessed based on your ultrasonography and hormone values. So when your doctor has asked you to do the scans, there could be three to four scans during an IVF cycle. It's very, very important that you go for these scans and help your doctor understand what's happening inside your body. If you go through an ovarian hyperstimulation, it's very critical to manage you and monitor you during the entire cycle. If you want to understand more about scans, if you want to see how they play a very important role in your fertility treatment, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.